Hey guys, I am here again to do my second book review. The, I've been promising this one for the last couple of videos and, and it's finally here. This one is on Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. This one in particular is the 10th anniversary edition. It's just the first book, which is this one, with four new added short stories in them, if you can see them. I'm going to be talking about the Vampire Academy series, as, not as a whole, but maybe generally. And if you have not read this series, there's six books altogether. Vampire Academy, First Fight, Shadow Kiss. Blood Promise, Spellbound, and Last Sacrifice. And it's also spawned a six book spin off series, which is the Bloodline series, which you can see right there behind me. And let me do that. You can see this is the Bloodline series, which is a spin off. But we're not talking about that. Or just talking, we're talking about this. Which, no spoilers, real fast, if you have not read or heard of, heard of the Vampire Academy series, which are you living under a rock? You have to be if you have not read the series. If you have not read it, you need to because it's one of my favorite series, book series ever. I absolutely love them. I finished this book and I want more. I want more. I want more. I'm not going to talk a whole much about, about the book book. I'm mostly, mostly going to talk about the short stories but real fast with the book. Rereading it. Uh, all the feels just to be back into that first book mindset where, not, where none of these others has happened uh, it felt really good i liked it and but mostly most of all rereading the first book and after especially after having watched the movie i realized that the movie was not that different in fact it was very similar yes different scenes um were different, moved around, excluded, changed. Yes, we all expect that with, with adaptations, but this movie, based on this book, was very similar. I mean, it was, I was, it was almost kind of shocking me with how similar because I had forgotten some stuff that it was similar. I, am I making any sense? I don't know. After how the movie came out, I I loved the movie and I thought it was very faithful. But now, after reading this reading this book again, I realized just how similar it was. And it's a shame that we didn't get get more movies. And there's always still hope for the future. I desperately want to see all these books, um, on the big screen. And I hope someday we'll, we will get to, get them with the same cast because the cast was perfect. Everything about it was perfect. It was different. It was not exactly, exactly the same, but it was different. And now, I just went on the whole spiel about the movie and stuff, which this is supposed to be a book review, but, which, um, it's mostly going to be about the short stories, the four of them, I'll talk, get into that in a minute, but regards of the book, I liked it, I loved it, I, I loved, loved reading these characters, so, um, Yes, the first book is building the series. There's not a lot happens, but a lot does happen if you catch my drift. But of course, it's not gonna hold up to Frostbite. Well, Frostbite is was really good, and then Shadow Kiss, and then all of them are really good. And like, not much happens in this first one. But setting up the world, world, you have to set everything up before you can get into the full story. So. As a, this is a very good first book of the series. And then, going into the main part of this review, it's the four short stories in the back. The first one being about when Christian's parents turn Strigoi. And it's mostly in Tasha's point of view. I was really interested to see, of, to read about the time when Christian's parents turned. I wasn't expecting it to be from Tasha's point of view that I showed it, that I, I should have because I kind of I kind of forgot or didn't know how old Christian was so I should have ex shouldn't have expected it to be from his point of view but 
because I think we all have similar feeling feelings toward Tasha, especially in regards later on in the series. No spoilers, but I was I was like, uh, did I ha have to read about read in her point of view? But I I did kind of feel for her, especially at the end when the parents came for, came for him and, and she protect she prote protected him like her like her own, and she really did love did love him. But and I was sad when Vin. Spoiler when Vin was killed. That was sad. Because I any time in that story when she had a moment with Dimitri, I was like, get away from him, get 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 away from him. He, he's taken, he's spoken for. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it I I really enjoyed that one. The second one the second story is Lissa's journal entries from like a little bit after the accident that killed her family to all the way through them running away and to like a to a, to at least until they arrive in Portland which is where then where the academy t gets them but that was really interesting I loved reading all her thoughts and her personal entries loved reading all the stuff they did and it was really fun and serious and cute and funny at the same time I really liked that how many times can I say the same thing in this review? I hope this review becomes good enough, so. Anyway. And then the last two short stories were the ones I was really looking forward to. The third one being Rose and Dimitri's first meeting through, from Dimitri's point of view. Oh, I loved it. I Anything that concerns... Rose and Dimitri, I absolutely love. I mean, they're perfect together. And just seeing, seeing, reading about him describing Rose through his eyes, it was just, I love that. Uh, I'm, I'm a puddle of goo when it comes to them. They're like my, one of my main OTPs, like, seriously. And then the last one, I gotta say, was really, really good. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I didn't want it to end. It was... It, that one it takes place after this one, but before this one, I believe. And it's just sh shenanigans and, that in, ensue during a scavenger hunt and a legal scavenger hunt in the, um, at, at the school. Set during a carnival. And... Some students partake in the scavenger hunt for prizes and all the stuff and it involves breaking and breaking and entering and theft so the teachers and the guardians don't really approve of it and if you're caught, you're caught then you're punished and Eddie and Mason will um, recruit Rose with his help but first she doesn't want to do it and this is totally spoiler free because I just need to talk about this short story so if you haven't read the short stories, or if you don't, if you don't care about being spoiled, then go ahead and keep, by all means, keep watching. But I'm gonna spoil this last story, so beware. Anyways, but first Rose, she wants to be responsible. She doesn't want to partake in it. But then Lissa comes to her and says she wants one of the prizes for Christian's birthday. She um, begs her that he dissolves it and all that. So Rose joins the scavenger hunt. Onto Eddie Mason's team for Lessa. And I loved it. And it's funny. One of the items on the list of the scavenger hunt things was one of something of Dimitri's. And I, I knew they were going to encou encounter each other. And he winds up, winds up helping her get one of the last items. Oh, and it just sent me right down the field's loop. Oh my god. I just. I love them going on a mission together and then running and escaping together and then that moment, they had a moment where they were in each other's arms and oh, the tension and the moments and the feelings and I was just hit by it all and <laughs> I love Rose and Dimitri so much, they are my top OTP, this is my favorite series ever and now my last link to it. I've read it. I have nothing Vampire Academy left to read and I'm lost. I'm lost. What do I do now? I could reread 
them, but that would have to be after I finish my huge to be read pile, which is huge. I have a whole stack on a shelf, plus the camera is sitting on a new box. I have a problem. I freely admit that. Now, I've been jumping all around in this review. It's... I don't even know if it makes sense. Because all, all I was doing was gushing about this book. And rightly so, so. Because like I've said for the umpteenth time, it's my favorite series. So I give this book 5 stars. A 10 out of 10. Um, the highest point system ever I give to this book to this series. If you have not read it, you need to. Because it's one of the best series out there. So this was not really a book review, it's more of a book gush session. Gush session. Say that five times fast. Anyway, I think that is it for this book review or book gush or book gush session. So what do you guys think about this series if you've read it? Did I make you make you want to read it? I better have if you haven't read the series already. Let me know what you thought about this series, what you what your favorite book is, your favorite scene, favorite part, whatever. Your favorite short story, my favorite one would have to be the scavenger hunt one, which is the last one. Yeah, that's my favorite. I absolutely loved it. It was fun, it was action-y, all that good stuff. So, what was your favorite part? A favorite anything about any of the um, Vampire Academy books or the Bloodlines books because I love both, both of them. Like this video if you liked it. Comment down below anything you want to talk about the series or any other book reviews you want me to do. I do have um, more book reviews coming up as I finish the books. It's not a lot but it's a couple. Yeah. So a little shout out to LPS Eminem. I hope I did a lot of bloopers in this video so be on the lookout for for a uh, behind the scenes blooper of this video so that'll be kind of my blooper challenge or whatever you told me to do in your last video so i think i did a lot of blooper so stay tuned for a blooper video of this review so anyway and if you have not subscribed already please do i, I do plan on doing more book reviews more book more book related things so yeah you don't want to miss it so read this book if you haven't read all of them i insist and i'll see you see you guys in my next video bye